Good Mayday Glads, I'm Jeremiah Jones. And I'm Spencer Walter, and this is your KWHS News. Seniors, your days as high school students are getting shorter. Pencil in these important events on your calendars so you can be prepared for the month. This time will fly faster than you can imagine. Seniors, final start on Monday, May 13th with periods 5, 6, and 7. It is a full day schedule. Tuesday, May 14th, you'll take finals for periods 1 through 4, then lunch and check out during 5th hour. You can leave campus after you complete your checkout, so get those conditions cleared early to avoid this long line. Wednesday, May 15th, is Senior Awards Night at 6 p.m. in the WHS Auditorium. Thursday, May 16th, is the Senior Breakfast at the Cheyenne Mountain Resort. Buy your tickets in the business office until May 10th. Tickets are $22 each and will not be available at the door. Friday, May 17th, is our Grad Walk. Meet in the Counseling Center at 10 a.m. to participate in the Grad Walk at Widefield Elementary. Otherwise, you must be here at noon in Bowers Gym for graduation practice. Saturday, May 18th, is your big day. Meet in the small gym at 7.30, and seniors, even though graduation starts at 9 a.m., you must be ready to go before then, so please be here early. This is not the day to be fashionably or any other kind of late. Underclassmen will have a final exam schedule for you when it is published, but for now, mark your calendars for exams on May 20th through the 22nd. In fact, if you need some support studying for those exams, remember to sign up in the library for a tutoring appointment with an NHS member. Those appointments are on Thursdays during advisory until finals week. Hey Glides, the library would like their books back. All books are due back to the library by this Friday, May 3rd. Any unreturned books will go into Infinite Campus as a fee. When you return your books this week, you will be entered to win one of 10 prize packages that include new books and summer activities. The library will start a new summer checkout program on May 15th, but you must return all the books you currently have out to be able to participate. And now we're throwing it to Isaac Fleet for our Gladiator Sports Update. Isaac? Sports time! Good Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Isaac Fleet, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Today's the big day for our junior and senior girls. Glads, the Powder Puff game is canceled for today due to impending inclement weather. Glads, the annual dodgeball tournament is in full swing. Come watch the matches in the small gym at lunch. The cost to attend is $1, or you can buy a pass for $3 for the rest of the week. Also, if you attend a dodgeball game this week, your name will automatically be entered in a drawing for a free yearbook or a yearbook coupon. Prizes will be given out at the end of lunch each day. In tennis news, our Lady Glads continue marching down the road to regionals with some very healthy wins. Last Thursday, the ladies handed the Sierra Stallions a big fat loss, taking the win seven to nothing. On Monday, however, the ladies swung their rackets on the home court against the Colorado Springs School, but narrowly lost the match four to three. If you haven't watched these ladies play, you really should. These girls are on fire. They clinched a second league championship last week. That's a back-to-back title for this team. And get this, of the 12 ladies who are swinging rackets for the varsity team, 11 are seniors. And yes, their coach will miss them when they graduate. The ladies are poised for regionals this coming Friday and Saturday in Pueblo at City Park. We wish them well. The Grizzlyators had a strong performance at the Trojan Invite last weekend. Out of 21 individual swims, they set 15 PRs. They are on the road this afternoon at Doherty for their final dual meet of the season. We'll have results for you on Friday. In baseball news, our glads are on the diamond this afternoon at 4 p.m at the El Pomar Sports Complex for a game against James Irwin. If you cannot make it to this game, the boys are at home tomorrow afternoon on Big Blue at 4 p.m. against the Mitchell Marauders. Come out and rally the boys to a victory at either or both games. We'll have scores for you on Friday. In Lady Soccer news, our ladies fought to the finish against the Purple School, but lost a heartbreaking game with a score of 2-1. to one. Last night, our ladies hosted the Harrison Panthers and rallied for the win. Way to close out the season, ladies. In track and field news, our glads were at the Cougar Invite on Friday and Saturday. The boys' team finished 8th out of 40 teams, while the ladies finished ninth out of 40 teams. A group of athletes were also at the Cardinal Classic over the weekend, where the girls finished 7th out of 19 teams, and the boys finished 5th 
out of 19 teams. Our track and field stars head to two different meets this Friday. Some athletes will be at the Centennial Invitational at Dutch Clark Stadium in Pueblo, while others will head to Canyon City for the Blossom Invite. Best of luck to all team members. Glads, Cinco de Mayo is this Sunday, and so is the Pops in the Park concert. Check out the music at Paiute Park from 1 to 3 p.m. to hear the award-winning talented musicians from our WHS band programs. To add to the festivities, the Sproul Mariachi Band will also provide some traditional tunes. Quincy Brown, a percussionist from the Air Force Academy Band, will be joining the crew to boost the talent. Come enjoy some fantastic music, fabulous tacos, and frozen treats from Kona Ice. It's going to be a party. Any student interested in playing football this fall, Coach Zimmerman would like to meet for about 20 minutes after school on Friday. That's all we have for you today. We'll be back on Friday with results and scores from this week's matches. For now, I'm Isaac Fleet. We're heading back to the news desk with Jeremiah and Spencer. Thanks for that update, Isaac. Glads, registration for summer credit recovery classes is going on right now and the deadline to sign up is May 30th. The summer session starts on June 3rd and runs until July 28th with the orientation on June 3rd in the WHS Computer Lab. Check the district website to register or see your counselor. Our FBLA team went to the state leadership competition last week in Denver. Although the team did not place, they did learn some very important leadership lessons. And now we're checking in with Miss Betsy to hear what she's got cooking for us today and tomorrow. Lunch time! <laughs> How are you doing, Mr. I'm great. You know, it's, it's May. Wednesday. It's May. It's Wednesday! May. Grilled cheese. 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 Can I, soup? I wish. Oh. I wish I, I could have ordered cheese and tomato soup. soup. Oh, oh, the best. The best. The best. Okay. Seniors! You have money on your account? You want it back? You need to come and see me and get the paper so that we can get you a refund. Because I can't do as much money as you guys, some of you guys got on your account. Okay. Money back is good. Money back is good. Money nice back. To, to do, put it in your pocket. So please, please, please come and see me. And non you have charges for anybody. There is no more. Today, today, I, if you don't have money on your account, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Have a great one, everybody. Bye. 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 Thanks, Miss Betsy. Please pay any outstanding lunch charges in the cafeteria or online and stay off conditions. Check Infinite Campus for those outstanding conditions and then get those cleared as soon as possible. Remember everyone, but especially seniors, you do not want to wait until the last minute to clear conditions unless, of course, you like waiting in long lines. Kick off your summer on time and seniors, you must have your conditions cleared before graduation. So get started now. Hey Glads, tonight is the opening reception for the High School Student Art Showcase at UMB Bank from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Come check out the amazing work our peers created for this show. It's a free event. Glads, as the year winds down, we want to continue showcasing our amazing teachers. Here's another short thank you for our educators. My name is Jesse Davis and I'm going to be talking about Mr. Jones. Uh, something that my teacher does to represent power is he represents relatability while he teaches. His stories are some of the funniest to just lighten up the mood. His way of hands-on teaching helps us learn a lot easier and a lot faster. Mr. Jones shows real-life deadlines just to prepare us for the outside world. And Mr. Jones always has a way of making people smile, and it builds us interest. Thank you, Mr. Jones, for... Seth, Ryan, and my reverse power ticket goes to Miss Shelley. Court, I like when you take me to breakfast. I want to give you a power ticket. I love the way you you help me and and I want to give you the power ticket from Seth. Thanks Miss Shelley. So this student is an anonymous student sent to the teacher Miss Caps. I enjoy that there's never a dull moment in the theater room with Miss Caps. Thank you Miss Caps.
Remember, you can still fill out those reverse power cards and we'll handle the rest. If you haven't purchased your yearbook yet, the cost is now $65. You can buy your book at the business office or at yearbookforever.com. If you wait until next week, the cost will be $70 and you will have to pay in cash and glads. We hear this year's cover is the best one yet. So buy your yearbooks now before distribution day on May 10th. Attention juniors, we will have a class meeting tomorrow during advisory. So please report directly to the auditorium. And the Red Cross Club is hosting a hat day on Friday. Buy your wristbands for $1 before school on Friday morning. And finally, seniors, since today is May 1st, you can pick up your caps and gowns at lunch in the auditorium. Be sure to bring your IDs so you can get the last item for graduation. Thanks for tuning in today. I'm Jeremiah Jones. And I'm Spencer Walter. And this was your KWHS News. Have a great day.